and welcome back to another crafty DIY. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe and hit the notification button to be notified when I upload a video. All right, we are taking this tray and I'm painting it with DIY paint. And we're going to decoupage this tray and then we're gonna do some resin on it. So here I've just done one quick coat and we'll let that dry. So we're using a paper napkin. Now you just have to remember to remove the backing. Most napkins have two backings on them. So go ahead and remove that. And we're going to uh, add some decoupage medium. I use liquid patina, which is created by DIY as well. Now all of the items that you see here today can be found on my website at iwanttocraft.com. So I'm just gonna put on one good coat of the liquid patina, and then we're going to add the napkin. So for this particular project, I'm just putting down the middle and then working out to the sides. Now you could cut out the exact size of your napkin, but for me, that just takes too long. So I'm just using um, the wet brush and tearing it, and then that's just gonna come off. So go ahead, add your napkin, and then we will let that dry, and then we're gonna add some resin. So I'm gonna add another coat of liquid patina to the top of this. Now a little trick here, you're going to dab the brush rather than brush it on. And this will help reduce any kind of chances of the napkin tearing. Now, if you love napkin art, um, I also have a napkin box club. It's a monthly subscription. You get awesome napkins and ribbon, and you also get three tutorials lives on Facebook. If you want more information about that, you can head over to iwanttocraft.com. Also, there will be a link below. So we're gonna actually do some resin now. I wanted to, to do resin on this particular project because I wanted to be able to use this as a real tray and I wanted the best protection, so any kind of liquid gets spilled on it, it's not going to ruin the look of the napkin. So when you are using resin, there's a lot of things that you need to do to make sure that it turns out just right. If you want a full tutorial on resin, let me know in the links below. But the short and long of it is, you wanna make sure that you make equal parts of both the liquids and that you stir it gently and efficiently. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and do that and then we're gonna pour it on into the tray. So I'm by no means the expert on resin. In fact, I'm a bit of a beginner when it comes to it. But here at the Crafty DIYer, we try all kinds of new things. That's what DIY is about. You see something, you do it, and you have fun. So I would love for you to subscribe and be notified, click the bell, when I upload my next video. We do all kinds of crafty stuff and DIYs. Hence, the Crafty DIYer. Until next time, guys, keep crafting, stay safe, and be happy. Wanna be with you